female. Quite a credible person. Her, I think it's her grandfather was the head of an ashram in Morali, uh, India. I think it's called the Ashoka Ashram. Billy was there around 1964. Mm -hmm. And during that time, Billy had not only photographs, he was taking photographs of up to eight of the craft above the ashram, but he was meeting with this woman, Asket, and he was uh, walking around with her on the grounds and all. And Pobal was a young woman at the time herself. And not only did she remember, and did there were other witnesses as well, she's just become the most prominent one. Uh, not only did she see Billy walking with Asket, but she said Asket used to come into her room at night and sing her to sleep and stroke her hair. Really? And she said she had long blonde hair, and I guess she was wearing a gold suit or something. Uh, po Bal Chang uh, only fairly recently kind of reemerged. She's a retired diplomat, I think, from the UN, mm -hmm. and uh, a very credible person. There are well over a hundred witnesses to the ships. That's um, you know. That was one of the questions I was going to ask you because. Um, you know, here we have one person seeing <coughs> Billy with the extraterrestrial. Mm -hmm. What about when he's been filming the ships? Well, um, for the most part, Billy could only go to the c directly to the contacts and the filmings and what have you by himself, though he was allowed oftentimes to let people drive him up to a certain, uh, you know, proximity. Mm -hmm. So over time, in not only in Switzerland but other places, these ships were seen by, as I say, well over 100 people, and there's at least four other photographers of the ships. Some of the people who accompanied Billy in the car on a cold wintry night or whatever saw the ship either come or go or saw Billy literally disappear standing in the middle of a field mm -hmm. or reappear miles away I inexplicably totally dry during a rainstorm and you know these are the kind of stories that have made the case fascinating and uh, mm -hmm. you know driven the skeptics crazy too. Right, right. Wasn't Billy given a piece of metal from the extraterrestrials? A good number of pieces of metal as a matter of fact, he still has some. Now, why would an extraterrestrial give him a piece of metal? Well... What was the purpose? Just like he was given photo opportunities and filming opportunities and sound recording opportunities, they gave him some physical, you know, metal uh, samples, uh, which were alloys, right. <coughs> for the purposes of letting them be analyzed so that it could add to the credibility of Meyer's claims without still forcing the proof. Mm -hmm. So those metal samples... Uh, are quite compelling because they were examined by a notoriously brilliant scientist named right. Marcel Vogel. Right. Now we're going to see um, a footage, footage of that uh, interview with Marcel Vogel.